Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today we're going to do a video which I've been meaning to do for a very long time. I've kind of been waiting for a rainy day. Um, and basically I'm going to be recovering my S4 steering wheel. Now this um, kind of process actually covers all makes and models. So it's not just specifically for the S4. So stick around if you don't have an S4 because it will still be the same on your platform, especially for the TTs. Um, during the video I'll also flash up some pictures of what it looks like on other brand steering wheels. And basically, this company, um, Fat Bits UK, they supply a tailor-made cover, the same as if you were to send it to a retrimmers. You get to pick what material, what color, what stitching color, um, and then they supply you with the tools and you need and everything to recover it yourself. So that's what we're gonna have a go at today. Um, because I think the S4 steering wheel just looks a little bit tired. It's a, the outdated one. Rather than go for a facelift steering wheel, which is three, 400 quid, I thought I'd invest in the cover, which is about a fifth or a sixth of the price, so quite a lot. Plus it looks the absolute nut. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Okay, so you've obviously watching this video because you want to look at retrimming your steering wheel or you want to see me hash up, do some sewing, which I haven't done since I was a Boy Scout when I was like 10 years old. But enough about me. Um, <laughs> if you want to remove your steering wheel, if you've got a TT, then I will put a link up in the corner now for you to watch how to remove your steering wheel if you want to do it in the comfort of your own home rather than cramped up in the car trying to stitch in the dark with a head torch on. Um, I'll also stick a GoPro on here so you can see a bit closer what I'm doing on the actual steering wheel itself. Now, um, I'll just put the steering wheel to one side for a minute and uh, give a shout out to Fat Bits UK, P-H-A-T, Fat. Um, now they actually, it says your wheel, your design, and that is very true. I mean, it took me maybe an hour to order it because, not because their website's slow or anything, but because they have so much choice. I mean, you've got literally thousands of choice. You've got choices of different color, choices of different material, different types of leather, different types of Alcantara, different types of, I mean, there's, I don't know, probably 20 odd colors of stitching. Um, you get to have a, you can have a 12 o'clock marker if you want. You can have, li literally the world is your oyster. All you do is tell them what car it is. They've got the details of all steering wheels and then the, the hardest part is deciding what you want. I've gone for, I'll try and quickly show you. So this is how it comes, bit of a necklace, um, but it's, it's basically pre-made, ready to go around your steering wheel. You'll see why in a minute. Um, but basically I've gone for top and bottom Alcantara, like a suede, and then on the sides, because obviously it's a high use area, I've gone for the perforated leather because I've got the perforated gear knob leather in my S4, which I upgraded at some point. Um, with, I've gone with a blue stitch, and I've also got a uh, blue stitch to finish it off as well. You can have like German colors, you can have red, yellow, black, you can have whatever you want. Um, so there's definitely plenty of options available. I've gone for a 12 o'clock marker, so top of the steering wheel, um, just so when you're doing a bit of drifting or whatever, you know roughly where straight is. <laughs> if you're having a bit of a panic up, not so much on a Quattro, but on some of the other models for sure. Um, so that's what comes in the box that. You get a nice little set of instructions which is pretty detailed to be fair, including how to stitch if you've never done it before, if you've never been a Boy Scout. Um, they also come with a few little tools. This comes with like a little trim tool. Now this is for um, like tucking in around buttons if you don't have paddles. Or if you have paddles, you've got to take them out because they've got, they've made it with a complete closed hole. So you have to take it out to feed it through. Um, it also comes with some double-sided sticky tape and that's to get it in position without it moving before you start stitching it up and obviously to keep it there. Once it's stitched up, it's definitely not going anywhere. And uh, obviously your thread of your choice, now I've gone for blue and it comes with a nice needle as well. So now I've not done this before, so this is we're gonna be doing this together for the first time. Um, steering wheel wise, I give it a bit of a clean first. Is it really relevant? Mm, it's entirely up to you. I've just gotta quickly take the paddles out, so I'll come back to you in a second once I've done that. Okay, so hopefully the GoPro will give you a bit more of an insight as to what I'm doing. Uh, it'll also weigh my head down and give me a neck ache later. <laughs> um, so basically we've got the cover. Um, the only tools you really need is um, some scissors. Now this is for the double-sided adhesive tape. I've got no nails, so this should be fun. But basically, from what I can see, you put it um, on all the sort of extremities where like it goes around the steering wheel and stuff, just to grip. So if you see here, uh, it says just to put it around the edges. Um, so we'll start with that now quickly. <clears throat> it's a bit of trial and error. I mean, you can always take it off and do it again. 
We'll try and keep it away from this stitchy bit. Um, so this is the bit that goes up the back and the front of the steering wheel. So this will just grip it. quite excited about this there's something quite sort of satisfying about doing something yourself admittedly if you're not very good at DIY then that's probably why you're watching the Parrot Bros <laughs> or uh, <laughs> or you get someone else to do it uh, if you know you're not going to be able to do it but I'm all about having a go you don't know you don't try do you um, so what did it say it didn't really okay so there's a bit of trial and error I mean this is from what I can gather this is just to hold it in place when you stick it on. Now we'll we'll put it around the steering wheel first um, and then we'll see what the crack is. It gives you quite a lot of tape so we can always add a bit more tape on afterwards. You'll see in a minute, once we stick it onto the steering wheel, it actually um, kind of holds itself semi anyway because I did have a little offer up earlier just because I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, so we've done that, so it's just this side on that paddle there. Um, and yeah, it does. it's quite a snug fit, which is nice, because that means it obviously fits well. So you know you shouldn't really get any issues. That's, I'll get rid of that bit. That's not, not really the right place. Too close to the paddle. Yeah, like I said, I think this is just to grip it so it doesn't spin on you when you're doing the stitching. So once you've got it all stitched up, it can't go anywhere anyway. So um, that's the ideal. Now, let's get the steering wheel. So these are at the back. So... Where's my top? There's the top. And all you're doing is offering this on around the steering wheel. It's, like I said, it's quite a snug fit, so you might need to hold it at the top and just sort of stretch it over a little bit. That's normal. Because obviously you want a snug fit. You don't want it loose. There we go. Now what we've got to try and do is level it out. Because that's not in the right place. It's probably easier on the car, to be fair. But when you've got pedals, you've got to take the pedals off, so it's not particularly easy to do. So that's semi in the right place. Let's have a look. Semi in the right place, not too bad, not too bad. And then you just kind of level it up. Have a look, make sure you're happy. I'd say we're about... Probably about right. There's a little bit of play in it, so don't worry too much. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is going to be nice. Okay, so get it roughly center so the stitching is going to meet in the middle like that. I'd say we're probably about right now. What does it say to do? Install the steering wheel cover on the wheel, adjust the position especially to ABC, which is right, so ABC. Like I said, it's about right there with the paddles and whatnot, and your 12 o'clock markers about right there. Then it says, start to tear off the double-faced adhesive tape. First tear off the double-sided adhesive tape in, in position A, then CBD. Okay. Oh, okay, so it is all the way around. Ignore me then, so look. Here it says we want to put the tape in all these different locations. So what I'll do is I'll cut little strips. And I guess that's so that that's the final, yeah, the final effect is when you've done it, it will hold it roughly um, where you want it so that then you can start to stitch it accordingly. Now, let's do some more taping. I'll speed it up so when I finish taping, we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, so... I quickly realized um, it's not as easy as I thought it was. And basically, um, it's just a bit of practice. Now, I'll show you what I've done is I've, I've had a go with myself and actually done about two thirds of it just to get a feel for it. And the, the good thing about this is because you're stitching it yourself, you can always just unstitch it. Because you're looping in and out of a stitch that's already there, uh, if you do it wrong or if it's not quite tight or it's not level or straight or whatever, you can just unstitch it and it's really easy. Now I'll, I'll jump to the GoPro so you can see 
um, what I'm doing. Now, it's definitely going to be easier if you're doing it in the car. Let me turn this so you can see. Yep, so you can see it. So all you're doing is jumping in and out of every other stitch here. Now, I'll try and do it so you can see the light. Now, what I've established from practice is basically if you pull and hold that one when you're doing the next one, it allows you just to get it nice and tight. Now, the other thing is you've got to make sure you go under the next stitch because I, a couple of times, have gone sort of in between the thread almost so you don't quite get it and there's obviously a danger of ripping it. Now, all you've got to do there is that if you just pull, it just gives you a nice uniform finish there. Um, really easy. The hardest part, I think, is when you finish or if you miss one and go instead of every other, do like the first one or every other or before, not every other. So instead of doing every other, you like you miss one and do every third and then it doesn't, it, the pattern doesn't come right. But if you see there, it's just a nice uniform finish. Um, and then just make sure you get every other after you've done sort of a third of the steering wheel, it's, it becomes quite sort of second nature. Um, and then again, just pull it tight and it just buttons up really nice. It's quite satisfying actually. But I definitely think it would be easier in the car because obviously it's, you don't have to hold the steering wheel up with one of your hands. But then again, you get to come and go as you please. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I, I would definitely start with maybe the top or somewhere in the middle because it's just a little bit more forgiving. If you start on a corner, like round here, around the trim, it can be a bit fiddly. And all you're doing is just pushing that under because these pre-stitches have already been stitched and they're really strong. This thread is crazy strong. You just give it a nice little pull there just to get it right and it just butts up lovely. Like I said, you get plenty of this um, stitch thread so you can, you've probably got, I've probably got another couple of meters spare once all said and done. So if you do want to do it again, you can just undo it. Just pull it nice and tight and then back across again, all the way to the end. Um, if you need to readjust it at any point, you can um, just do that and you can obviously roll it round and whatever. You can just sort of pull that round. You will need to pull it where it's taped just to get the edge. I can see why they tape it now. Um, finishing off is not too bad. Basically, instead of doing diagonals, you basically go across twice, go underneath as in like through, pierce through the material and then loop over twice and then pull it out and just cut it, singe the end, and then it's done. But it's, it's, to be honest, once you've had a go and um, you've done a bit, it's actually really, really straightforward. It's a bit fiddly to get set up, and once you're first starting, because obviously the cover moves and it's flapping around and whatever, but, I mean, this thread is crazy strong. It's obviously a decent um, thickness. I mean, look, it's, you can really sort of wail on it. So you, you can when, you, when you're pulling it really tight, um, it just pulls the leather up really nice. Um, the Alcantara stitch is a little bit different to the leather. So where you've got the bump here, you get this kind of like a roll, like where it's almost a bit like too long. Um, but when you start to stitch it and pull it tight, all you have to do is kind of squeeze it together as you're doing it and sort of squeeze and pull the thread and it just kind of finds its way home nice. Um, but I mean, as you can see, the finish is lovely. It almost looks like I've gone to a trimmer's and obviously saved myself quite a bit of money. I'm quite looking forward to getting it into the car. I'll give you a bit of a close up here. So you've got the stitch just looks nice and uniform all the way around and it just, I mean, it, I'm well chuffed with this. Really, really chuffed. It looks wicked. Um, really like the perforated. The quality of the, the materials is really, really Alcantara is one of them. I wouldn't get Alcantara on the sides because if it's in high traffic areas, the likelihood is it will get marked. Um, obviously, where the oil's on your hands and whatever. So, and it, you sort of um, you take the the pile out of it and you sort of make it shiny, and it doesn't look that great. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and button this finished up, and then I'll give you a look um, when I'm done. Right, so I thought I'd fit it just to show you better because then I can give you a sort of a good look round. You can kind of see what it looks like in the car. I can do some of them fancy panning YouTube shots just to show you. But I'll be honest, I am dead pleased. If you look really close, you could definitely tell that it's been done not by a professional, but for the most part, and I think for most people, it's wicked. I mean, I can literally take it off whenever I want. It doesn't damage the steering wheel underneath. It's a good way of, if you've got a newer car, or a nice steering wheel or, or whatever. It's a good way of keeping the steering wheel underneath absolutely mint. Because obviously they do wear in the time. 
you can also change it if you like changing up your interior changing a few things it's not that expensive and you can obviously change it once a year whatever keep it fresh but when it wears out if you fancy it have one for every month and all you need is some new thread each time because it, you can keep putting it back on and off if you really want to um, but yeah this is what it looks like in the car give you a good look got my 12 o'clock marker so if i do end up going backwards or sideways you kind of know where to go how back to <laughs> but um yeah like i said the perforated really matches the the gear knob which is nice um that's a nice touch because that's been annoying me a little bit just because this wasn't perforated before like i said you've got my my stitch in there look really bright and vibrant there's a few little bumps but they'll i'm sure they'll just pack down with time because you can just touch them and then they vanish off anyway um but that's oh that alcantara is beautiful it's a shame this is a really ugly airbag, and I'm not sure 100% what this line is. I think it's had a steering wheel cover at some point, um, you know, one of the locks that goes around the outside, and it's been scratched. That or uh, the airbag wants to find its way out again. I'm not really 100% sure, but like I said, dead habit feels lovely. The quality is phenomenal, and it just, without being too much, it's just a nice little upgrade. Um, you can obviously upgrade the steering wheel for the later models. Um, you can take them off the V9, you can uh, take them off a TTRS and stuff. You obviously want to match the one with the right paddles, or if it's manual, then not so much of an issue. Um, but you have to buy the airbag. Now, steering wheels are a couple of hundred quid, but the airbag, unless you get lucky, they can be two or three hundred quid as well. So you're looking at three, four, five hundred pounds sometimes for a steering wheel. So to change is not particularly cheap. This is definitely a like a sort of a performance budget option. Um, like I said, for any car, Go on to Fat Bits. They, I'll put all their details down in the description. There is, ah, oh, there's tons and tons. You can have like a carbon fiber weave material. You can have normal leather, perforated leather, suede, multi colors. Oh, it's, it's just if you like choice, it, you're great. If you don't like choice, it's probably not the one for you because you are crazily spoiled with choice. But I hope you've enjoyed it. This is definitely something I've been I'm wanting to do for ages, and I'm well chuffed with it. So. Um, I'm actually, my partner saw it and she's looking to have it done in her car as well. So I should be doing that for her. Um, she can pick obviously what she wants. Ideal, but yeah, go check out Fat Bits. Also go check out our new look website. I've upgraded it a little bit because it was a bit clunky and I wasn't really uploading stuff to it because it was annoying to do. But now it's all done, really easy to use. Theparrotbros.co.uk. Um, check out the website. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. For those who don't watch my intro every single time, it has the little icon. Go check us out, give us a follow because we got um calendars coming out for 2022 i'm going to be putting a lot more events and trips on there for 2022 we're going to be doing loads of road trips weekend brekkie meets and all that kind of stuff so um the website is definitely one to follow you can join it and it will give you i think it gives you updates every time we put something on there for events and stuff so don't forget to check that out but as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye for now